This is section 88 of Mark Twain's Speeches by Mark Twain. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Carnegie, the Benefactor by Mark Twain. Read by John Greenman. At the dinner given in honor of Andrew Carnegie by the Lotus Club, March 17, 1909, Mr. Clemens appeared in a white suit from head to feet. He wore a white double-breasted coat, white trousers, and white shoes. The only relief was a big black cigar, which he confidentially informed the company was not from his usual stack, bought at three dollars per barrel. The uh, state of Missouri has for its coat of arms a barrel head with two Missourians, one on each side of it, and mark the motto, United we stand, divided we fall. Mr. Carnegie this evening has suffered from compliments. It is interesting to hear what people will say about a man. Why, at the banquet given by this club in my honor, Mr. Carnegie had the inspiration for which the club is now honoring him. If Dumfermline contributed so much to the United States in contributing Mr. Carnegie, what would have happened if all Scotland had turned out? These Dunfermline folk have acquired advantages in coming to America. Dr. McElway paid the top compliment, accumulation, when he said of Mr. Carnegie, There is a man who wants to pay more taxes than he is charged. Richard Watson Gilder did very well for a poet. He advertised his magazine. He spoke of hiring Mr. Carnegie. The next thing he will be trying to hire me. If I undertook to pay compliments, I would do it stronger than any others have done it. For what Mr. Carnegie wants are strong compliments. Now the other side of seventy, I have preserved, as my chiefest virtue, modesty. End of Carnegie the Benefactor by Mark Twain Read by John Greenman